Vladimir Putin's troops had to fight hard after more and more NATO countries were behind the Ukrainian army. Britain, the United States, France, Norway, and Poland have supplied the howitzers that add to the fighting power of the Kyiv forces. The Germans did not want to miss sending howitzers so that the Ukrainian army could destroy the Moscow soldiers from a distance. Germany, which at the beginning of Russia's invasion of Ukraine did not want to send aid in lethal weapons, has turned around and sent various sophisticated weapons. Most recently, Berlin delivered the Panzerhaubitze 2000, or the PZH-2000, heavy artillery weapon system to Ukrainian troops. Ukraine said that the first shipment of German howitzers and other heavy weapons had arrived in Ukraine. The government in Berlin has published a comprehensive list of military aid sent or promised to Kyiv. Quote, The first shipment of heavy weapons promised by the German government has arrived in Ukraine, said Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov on Tuesday, June 21, 2022, as reported by DW. So, in this video, U.S. military news channel will discuss the Panzerhaubitze 2000 for Ukraine. Watch this video until the end and give your opinion. Western aid for Ukraine continues to arrive. The self-propelled howitzer, the Panzerhaubitze 2000, was the first heavy weapon sent by Germany to arrive in Ukraine. In May, Berlin promised to deliver seven artillery systems, adding to the five howitzers promised by the Dutch. The PZH 2000 155mm howitzer is some of the most powerful artillery weapons in the German military stockpile. This howitzer can hit targets up to 40 kilometers or 25 miles away. Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov commended his German counterpart Christine Lambrecht and Dutch Defense Minister Kaiser Ollengren for the delivery. Reznikov wrote on Twitter, quote, Panzerhaubitze 2000 is finally part of the 155mm howitzer arsenal of Ukrainian artillery. I appreciate all efforts of my colleague, Germany, Ministry of Defense, Christine Lambrecht, in support of Ukraine. Our artillerymen will bring the heat to the battlefield. <laughs> After Ukraine got some PZH-2000 155mm self-propelled howitzers from Germany, it was recently reported that Italy also sent some PZH-2000 howitzers to Ukraine. According to information published by the website of the Italian newspaper Il Mattino on June 29, 2022, the PZH-2000 155mm howitzers donated by Italy from the military inventory of the Italian army will be on their way to Ukraine. Italy is the third NATO country to supply the PZH-2000 155mm howitzers to Ukraine after Germany and the Netherlands. Indeed, in May 2022, the Army Recognition Team reported that Germany and the Netherlands had agreed to the delivery of 12 PZH-2000 155mm howitzers to Ukraine. The Netherlands has supplied five examples to Ukraine, while Germany has supplied seven. On June 29, 2022, German Minister of Defense Christine Lembrecht announced the delivery of an additional six PZH-2000 howitzers to Ukraine. On April 27, 2022, the Army Recognition Team reported that Italy was considering sending different options for delivering weapons to Ukraine, including the PZH-2000 artillery howitzer, M109L, as well as the Saddam-25 tracked air defense armored vehicle, M113A1 and VCC-1 tracked armored personnel carrier vehicle, Iveco VM-90 light tactical vehicle, and LMV 4x4. Quoting from various military sources, 
the Italian army has approximately 69 PZH 2000s. Italy can tribute five howitzers to Ukraine. The donation of five howitzers to Ukraine will not jeopardize the operational capabilities of the Italian army. The PZH 2000 howitzer is the backbone of the Italian army's artillery force. The PZH 2000 howitzer entered service with the Italian army in 2002. The joint German-Italian production program with Consorzio Iveco Otomalara provided 69 artillery vehicles for the Italian army. Germany production of 100 howitzers for Ukraine. The German government has approved a request from defense company Krauss Mafai Wegmann to produce 100 PZH 2000 howitzers for the Ukrainian army although it will likely take months before the first artillery weapon units arrive in the war-torn country. Germany's readiness to sell large numbers of PZH 2000 howitzers marked a significant increase in military support for Ukraine. Germany has sent nine PZH 2000s of its army supplies to Ukraine. Ukrainian officials say that the advanced weapons have made a valuable contribution to their fight against Putin's forces. A Krauss Mafai Wegmann spokesman confirmed that Ukraine had ordered 100 PZH 2000s from the company for a total price of 1.7 billion euros, or about 1.743 billion USD, and that the German Ministry of Economy, which is in charge of arms control, had given the necessary authorization to start production of artillery units on July 13th. What else did Germany send? At the same time, the German government published the first comprehensive list showing the equipment it said had been delivered to Ukraine, and that which had been promised but was still in the works. In addition to the recent delivery of seven 155mm howitzers, the German Defense Ministry said it had also sent weapons assistance to Ukraine in the form of 14,900 anti-tank mines, 500 Stinger air defense missiles, and 2,700 anti-aircraft missiles. In addition, Germany has supplied Ukraine with 16 million rounds of ammunition for pistols, as well as 100,000 hand grenades, to name some of the most prominent uses on the list. In the non-lethal supply list, Germany has provided materials, including 175 vehicles, including buses, trucks and off-road vehicles, 10,000 sleeping bags, 23,000 combat helmets, 1,200 hospital beds, and 100 tents. The number and types can still increase. The German Ministry of Defense Register also lists weapons and ammunition the German government promised to Ukraine but is being delivered, 